Hi, welcome to Third Stall Garage. My name is Doug. Today's project is a little different than normal. Got a 1960 Mallard tin can, uh, can ham travel trailer that I would like to turn back to raw aluminum. This beautiful tan with a black stripe to me is about as beautiful as a manila envelope. Um, I had a piece that I cut out earlier to put a door in and uh, tried the stripper on it. I kind of like the way that it came out. So I'm gonna be doing that for the whole trailer. Um, if you like projects like this or anything else on my channel, I encourage you to subscribe, hit the bell notification, and thanks for being part of the Third Stall Garage. Stay tuned to see how this comes out. And never done it before, we'll see how it works. All right, we're using a product, product called Citrus Strip. You can get it at Lowe's, uh, probably other big box stores. Very citrus smelling, uh, fairly non-toxic. And uh, for the test application worked fairly well. It does recommend taping off all plastic or fiberglass. Um, it doesn't have anything about glass. It should be okay with aluminum, Lord willing, because the whole trailer's aluminum. Uh, but hopefully you get the paint off. What you wanna do is get a paintbrush, spread it all on so there's an even coat over all of it, and then cover it with a layer of thin plastic. I bought a uh, really inexpensive plastic drop claws, 0.7 mil at Lowe's. Um, it's five bucks for all of it. And then I'll cover a whole side with the citrus strip then you'll press the plastic against it to kind of seal it off so it doesn't dry out. And we will leave it overnight and see how it comes out. The other thing that I'm doing, in addition to taping off the plastic lenses, I'm okay with losing this decal, this plastic lens we taped off. Um, also on the front, I'm gonna remove the spare tire and then tape off the black frame because I don't wanna take the paint off of that. All right, let's get to it. Good morning, heading out to the garage. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. The stripper has been on the trailer, covered in plastic for about 12 hours now. And uh, you can totally see how the paint has bubbled up. Um, black paint, not quite as much. Um, curious to see how that goes. And now it is time to pull the plastic off. Got a plastic scraper and we will see what it looks like. I'm nervously excited. I had started doing this in time lapse, but you gotta see us. This is amazing. The paint's just falling right off of it. All right, I'm gonna leave this drop cloth on underneath to try to catch most of the paint. All right, I'm gonna start scraping this and see what it looks like. Now, this is really hopeful. So I think all of the paint is off. That took me maybe 10, 15 minutes of scraping. It did leave behind a light yellow 
residue that I'm hoping will, it's kind of a slimy, yeah, residue seems like a good word. So I'm gonna see if that will maybe wash off with a little, I might try some soap or some mineral spirits and some light steel wool, we'll see. After the paint came off, what I found works pretty well is to uh, make sure it doesn't dry out. Once it dried, it got really hard to take off. So I put another layer of citrus strip on and then it came off. Then I ended up scrubbing it with um, kind of a plasticky, scratchy, not real aggressive washcloth with hot soapy water. And then final um, with a coat of grade quadruple knot steel wool and a little bit of mineral spirits. Now it is not a polished finish, but that's not what we're looking for. I'm really happy with the way it came out. We just pulled the plastic down on this side and you can see that the, I mean, the paint just slides right off. Uh, literally nothing left of the paint. It leaves behind this light yellow residue, which I don't know if that's a primer or the base of the paint. Um, that's the stuff that if we let it get dry, it gets really hard to take off. So we're gonna scrape the paint fairly quickly and then uh, start scrubbing it clean and I'll show you the end product. Trailer's coming along nicely. The front and the first bit of the side is uh, scrubbed and cleaned. So where I am in the process now is on the back, uh, I have the first coat of stripper on, plastic over it, and you can totally see how the paint is all bubbled up. I've had the plastic on for maybe an hour, and uh, I'd like to leave it on for a little longer than that. The top of the back I did earlier came out great. It's kind of cool, you can see there must have been a decal at one point, the Mallard decal, which left a bit of a ghost image, which is kind of cool. So on this side, after I stripped it, um let it sit overnight it got a little dry so i put a second coat of citrus strip on and now i'm in the process of pulling the plastic back and starting to scrape it so i'll show you how i'm doing that but then you can see it just takes a little elbow grease and scrub it and the aluminum looks great underneath there you can see it a little bit better Same thing with a steel hinge and the door as well. So now I'm basically just scrubbing it with hot soapy water, getting it nice and clean. From this point out, it's just kind of elbow grease to keep going, hard work, but it's not too hard to do. And here's the finished product. It is, uh, you know, by no means perfect um but overall i like the vintage look to it it's kind of neat that there's a ghost image of a previous mallard decal or sticker that was on there before you know it shows it's 61 years old it's got a lot of little dents and beauty marks and scratches in it uh there are a couple that i fixed with some pop rivets i should seal them up uh, a couple gouges I fixed with JB Weld. The door is steel, not aluminum. Right now it is just stripped. And uh, there's the original color on the inside. So we will need to paint or clear coat the door. I haven't decided what yet. I'm curious if anybody out there has suggestions or pictures as to what you did with the trailer that you stripped. Uh, with a steel door on it. I'd love to hear your ideas. Um, in total, between my wife and I, I think we probably have 16 to 18 hours into stripping it. Um, went through four bottles of citrus strip. Uh, two of them were the one quart 32 fluid ounce. And I think two of them were the larger double size of that. We went through some old paint brushes, two plastic strippers, some uh, Tupperware, and a lot of hot soapy water. And that's the end product. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully if you tackle a project like this, it goes great for you too. 
let me know, share a picture. If you like random projects like this, feel free to please subscribe to the Third Style Garage and hit the bell notification to get more videos. Thanks, have a great day.